<laughs> yeah. Um, well, I don't really want to get too much uh, into details, um, but let's just say that life threw a bunch of lemons at me, like all at once. I was buried under a mountain of lemon, and I had to dig my way out and make lemonade out of all of that. And uh, yeah, it took a little while, um, but I'm better now, and uh, I feel like my state of mind is better too. Uh, I just didn't want to paint, uh, like force myself to paint, and then after that, I resent it. So. I took a little break of everything and took some time for me and worked a little bit on myself, worked around the house, uh, well the house, the new apartment and yeah. So um, let's just get back into it with something that, um, something that I know I guess. And that's a bottle bottom, but I picked uh, not the Coke one, the uh, the five spoke one. I picked the other one, like with a bunch of little slits in it. So I think it's going to look interesting. Um, and yeah, I will pour a base coat of white under, so it helps the paint spread. Um, and what I think I'm gonna do is uh, pour a couple of uh, just rings, just like that, and then after that I'll go for a dirty pour for the middle, so there will be a bunch of lines, like a bit of a, like a swirl, but split up into this hole by the little spokes here. Uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. And for that, I mix my paints the usual way. I have uh, four colors, uh, color harmony, and in these colors I'm, I have uh, fluorescent orange, fluorescent blue to contrast with each other, and cadmium yellow medium hue, and ultramarine violet. The colors will be in the description as always, and I've mixed my paints the usual way. So, hypochrolics the two fluorescent ones. I mixed one part high fluor acrylic to ten part medium and the fluid acrylic I mixed the same except I added like 10% water and the heavy body acrylic I mixed 50-50 paint medium and then 25% water and yeah. So I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that. Alright, so I'm going to remove this, pour my white paint all over. I'm gonna help it just go over the edges so when I spread it, it goes easier. And I'm going to cover my sides right away. So if the bubble pour ends up reaching the edges, it can go over easily as well. Find that paint has an easier way to find um, its pat on what's already wet. So wet paint or I'm guessing spritz of water, but I won't do that because a spritz of water in between the paint and the canvas could lead to adherence issues in places. I mean, the paint, the paint and the water will dry and evaporate, but if too much water accumulates in one spot, it might um, space out the binders from the acrylic a little bit too much. So I prefer paint to have a base coat with. Now, this seems about right. 
I'm pretty sure this isn't cut um, perfectly straight as well, so it, I might need to twist it or turn it because if it's not quite level, some paint will go more on one side than the other. We'll see. And back to my usual cat hairs. And you know what? I'm gonna reuse the white cup for the 34. So I'll have a little bit of white swirling in between the colors as well. I think it's going to look interesting. I'm not pouring my paints in any particular order. I don't need the pigment densities to work for me here. I'm not looking to get any cells. I just want some cool designs in the way the paints will flow. And like since this is a, like square canvas, it's probably going to go over the edges around here and here, but I'm both okay with that. Alright, so it's gonna keep moving, it's gonna keep spreading, and I'm okay with that because look at all the detail it reveals as it spreads, and uh, it looks super feathery and I love it. Uh, it's a super <laughs> feather effect, I guess. Like, pour it and then use a, the back end of a brush just to pour some, put a line into it, some detail, and you have it. Uh, I can't wait to see how it will dry. It's gonna dry much darker and we won't see the orange and the blue as much as they will dry quite transparent. Uh, they are on pale colors, so maybe not super transparent, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I think it's interesting to look at. The eye travels is... It, there's just a lot of details to look at. And then there's like the spokes that just breaks a little bit the, the white, the background. And the middle here, uh, the little swirl spin thingy. Uh, so hopefully That will work. I'm sorry, I'm just... The thing is, I always level... Oops. The thing is, I always level everything before I start working. But my table is not stable. It's uh, very um, flimsy. And if I put a little bit of weight on it, I mess it up. <laughs> 
I messed it leveled up. So that's why I need a better table. <laughs> but um, I have to really be careful and watch my leveling. I would like this painting to stay uh, centered as much as possible. I like it as is. Like sometimes the lack of level, I have to admit, uh, as much as I hate it, <laughs> it works my way. <laughs> like the the painting I did, the um, large swipe on the circle. Uh, it was really cool. It has a uh, really nice cells and all, but then the level uh, on my table, I probably put weight on a spot on my table and the paint decided to go all on one way. It added a lot of movement into it, but kind of uh, ruined a bit the original design. So it really depends what you're going for, I guess. <laughs> In this case, I would like to keep it that way. So I have to carefully watch the level and not put any weight on the table. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Leveled surface, important, and I'm quite happy with this painting. I think it contrasts really nicely. Uh, the purple uh, doesn't show as much as I would have liked to. The violet, I mean, the ultramarine violet. There's a little bit of it here and there, but I think it's going to look really nice with the blue if it mixes a little bit. Um, also, I think uh, that the yellow, uh, it doesn't show all that much, so there's a little bit of contrast between the yellow and purple, but uh, mainly it's orange and blue, and it's going to be the same under black light. But we'll see as it dries, because orange and blue are very, very transparent, so maybe it will um, give more place to other colors. Oh yeah, I hope you like this. Um, if you have uh, ideas on things I could try pouring on, uh, that could give me cool... Um, Cool designs and shapes and stuff. Let me know in the comments if you there's something you'd like me to try or something you'd like to see, so I can try it for you and try it for me too, cause I like trying out things. And we're back, and I'm a happy painter. Um, as long as my painting stays like it, like that, like it can go a little bit over the edges. I'm fine with that, as long as it doesn't all slide up on one side. <laughs> Even then, maybe it could be interesting. Uh, we'll see. So, yeah. Um, I'm sorry I was uh, away for that long and uh, without news or anything, but uh, as I said, I really needed to like disconnect. Just take a break. <laughs> take a... And, well, if you're still here and were waiting for me, thank you for sticking with me. And if you're new here, um, make sure to subscribe for more, because uh, I will be posting videos about twice a week uh, from now on. Um, I'm feeling better. I'm up from painting, and uh, I think it's going to be... And I had a cool year, and, and well, a cool year. <laughs> We're already halfway into it, but that's fine. But I think it's going to be fine and uh, fun, and a lot more things I have to try. And I love painting, and I love sharing with you guys. So, uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe for more. And um, that's it for today. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and. Um, Bye!